welcome to Alma's recipe. Here I am again. Today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, pork tacos in the slow cooker, also known as the crock pot. So vamos a empezar. You will need four pounds uh, pork, one third a cup of olive oil or any oil you have, half a tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoon of uh, onions, two garlic cloves, and two belly leaves. So I'm gonna start first to doing my marinator for the meat and the first thing we're going to do is work with the oil. One third of a cup, so I'm just gonna put it right here. That's plenty. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of cumin. Add it in there. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon. So that's my chili powder, so I'm just gonna add it in there. And that's paprika, one tablespoon. Gonna add it in there. I'm going to add my salad, it's half a tablespoon. I'm just gonna add it in there. Cut my two garlics here. If you don't have one of those, just chop it very fine. I have one. I like. I really like this one a lot because it really comes like really sharp. Add it in there. Next, I'm gonna move on with my onions. So I'm just gonna peel it. We always take the skin out of the onion. And I'm not gonna use a lot. I'm only gonna use right now a tablespoon. So even this one might be a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it very small, as small as I can. Cut it in half. So I have one. So I have a little bit more than that. I can add it the whole thing, but I'm just gonna just add a two tablespoon to the lily with my thing. So it's in there. I'm gonna be moving now with the meat. But I forgot also to tell you that I like to put my meat in a sea block so it's better like when I marinate. Another thing that I wanted to let you know is better if you marinate the meat the night before or minimum two hours before. So I usually do the night before so in the morning when I put my meat it's my sissy and it has more flavor because the meat and the marinade they've already been together. So I have my meat here. I bought a meat with no bones and uh, I had it right here. So if it has a lot of fat I remove it but this one it has not too much so I'm just gonna leave it and I'm gonna just gonna cut it in cubes. Not too big, not too small. This mass will be plenty because when the meat cooks it kind of get a little bit more smaller. So we're gonna do like that with the whole meat. So I'm just gonna remove this little fat. It's your choice if you wanna leave it as much or you wanna leave it at least if you wanna take it out. Okay guys, so now that I have the, my, my meat already, um, I'm gonna put it in my bag. And uh, I also made my meat last night. I have another one in the refrigerator. This one I just wanted to show what I do. I just put it in my bag. Here, everything. I'm gonna rinse my hands. Now that I cut my meat and I have everything ready here, this is really simple. I'm just gonna put my marinara in the meat. It's easy to mix it all together. Now you can put it in a recipe if you want, but I think the bag works really well. Sip it, just gonna remove it. Get it all really well together. All right guys, I already have two here. This one I already marinated last night, so I have it here. And that's the one I'm going to cook. Take this one out of the way, we're going from that one. All right guys, so let's talk about the slow cooker or the crack box. They have a low and high. So I'm gonna cook it in high for four hours, four and a half hours. If you wanna cook it more through the whole day, you can cook it in slow. But I wanted to cook it in four, four and a half hours, so I'm gonna put it in high heat. When you put it on a slow cook, so you don't have to really worry, you're not gonna come and shake it all the time, just put it in there and then you forget about it and then it's ready. That's that's what the convenient with the thing. But also the same way, if you marinate this meat like that, you can also cook it in the stove in a, in a pan. But kind of the same thing, it takes like three hours. But you have to babysit it more in the stove than you do here. So that's the benefit to do here. You just don't have to worry about it. So what I'm gonna just do is just put it in here and not add in any water or anything at all. That's pretty much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my lid right there and I'm just gonna Put it in high. I'm sure it's a taste to get it really well done between four and a half hours or five hours it should be done. If you wanted to just take it alone and then go to work or whatever and come, you just put it in slow and by the time you come home it's already done. In the meantime, I was still telling you that I was teaching you how to make um, salsa for the tacos so we're gonna be moving to show you that and the goodies you're going to need for the tacos. You'll need six green tomatillos, two red tomatoes, three jalapenos, two serranos, and two chiles de arbol, one little piece of onion, two garlic cloves, one teaspoon of salt, and half a cup of water. One bunch of cilantro, one onion, optional aguacado, and lime, and tortillas, corn tortillas. 
I'm going to start by preheating my pan, medium heat, and then I'm going to go move, uh, prepare my chilies. All right, guys, so I, I saved this one. Pretty much everybody knows green tomatillos. They come with the skin, so I just removed the skin. I just leave that one for you guys to see. I remove it, and I wash them. So I have mine already here. They're already peeled and clean. This one, I usually like to cut it in here because they can stand them. And I cut it in both, and I do the same thing. Just put it in my pan. I'm gonna also start with, with this one. This one is really quickly just gonna put it in my pan. This one doesn't stay very long because this one can get burned. So I'm just gonna put it right now, this one here for, it's like very short time. It takes maybe like, maybe like one minute or two minutes. You're gonna have to really pay attention to this one because they can burn really easy. If your pan is really hot, it can burn. Also make sure there's no seed skin in the pan because the seeds make you sneeze. I should have done that this one first before anything because it takes very short time to this one to be done. And if you burn it, things takes a little bit better. So the way that you know this one is done, it kind of changed a little bit of color, like a little bit of brown. So these ones are done. This one will be done and we'll save these ones. I'm going to chop these ones, the stem, and every single one of these ones too. The other one it takes maybe like just one minute. This one for sure takes 15 to 20 minutes until everything comes really roasty. And then we're gonna put onions in our garlic and then we're just gonna come and flip it around a couple of times. And you'll see when they start changing. Since my onions are already really roasting, so I'm gonna take it out. I'm just gonna put it in here. My garlic is really roasted too, so I'm gonna just take it out and put it in a bowl. So the garlic and the onion was done a little bit quickly. It takes probably like seven minutes, so this is done. You want it to just look like that. If you leave it a little longer, probably will get burned. So I'm just gonna take it out, remove out of my pan, and then continue to roast in my chili. between 15 to 20 minutes and are done. All the pans, like what I said again, every stuff is different and the pans a little different. So maybe your might be a little thin, a little bit less of mine. I haven't cooked in a medium heat and I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'll blend it. So I'm gonna just cut my limes. You can cut as many as you want or a little as you want. Just gonna put it over here in my bowl and reserve it. And then from there, I'm gonna just move with my onions. I'm gonna just cut like, this is like kind of the onion that I use. I use this one for the meat and I use this one for the salsa. This is the one that October is with a medium onion. Just gonna start chopping in a small pieces. And the, my meat ingredients to make the tacos the flavor, it is the onions and the cilantro. Some people don't like onions, but I think onions give it a very good flavor. But the onion is kind of strong. So this is my onion. It should be probably like a one cup of onion, but some people don't like a lot, but that's just how much I got. So and this is my cilantro, fold it in half, small pieces. Some people only use the lips, but I like to use everything because I think they give it a very good flavor when you chop everything together. Usually what I do, I like to put the onions and the cilantro together, but one of my younger daughter do not, she loves the cilantro, but she doesn't like the onions. Everybody else like the onions, so I'm just gonna put it separate, but you can also put it together. Okay guys, so we're gonna start preparing a salsa. As you see, I roasted this one with the stem so the seed doesn't come out and doesn't make me sneeze because this one is very strong. But if you not, choose not to use it, it's fine. So I'm just gonna cut the stem, put it in my blender. And I have my onions here and my two garlics. So I'm just gonna put it in my blender also too. And this one, I'm just gonna peel it a little bit. Well, this one is easy, like everything's come out. When they're really hot, it's so hard to peel it, so that's why I let it cool down. Just good. I'm gonna take uh, just a little. I don't have to take the whole thing. Cut it in half. Put it on my blender. There's my tomatillo. Just take a little bit, if you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to take the skin. I'm gonna do the same thing with every single one. So this one, just take whatever you can. After that I put everything here, just gonna rinse my hands. So my blender has a lot of power, this blender, um, and I'm just gonna start um, very slow until I blend it the way I want it. This one has so much power that it make everything really well done, so I don't want it everything well done. If you have a different blender, you might want it to do a little bit more. Higher the volume, but this one is so super, super strong. So I want it with a little bit of junks. 
not fully completely blend so this is how it looks and the flavor is pretty good with the different chilies all right guys so it's been like two hours that my meat is not ready but i just wanted to show you the process how it looks it doesn't have a lot of juice but it's going to release the juice and i'll come back later on and i'll show you how it looks magic four and a half hours pass by and the meat is done so to this point like it's really tender you can totally see it's coming apart and that's what we want turn it up I don't need it no longer to be cooking. So I also want to show you here my ingredients I already prepared. So I have my salsa here that's going to give you a good kick. My cilantro, my onions, my limes, and my avocado right here, which I'm going to start cutting up. But let's move and preheat the tortillas. So I'm just going to preheat my tortillas in this pan because it's quite big. So I can probably fit three tortillas here. I have a comal, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use this thing. If you have a comal, use a comal. Now that I preheat my pan, I'm just going to add just a little bit of oil, not too much. So my tortillas have a little bit of oil. I'm just going to do this and then move it around. And if you don't like corn tortillas, you can use flour tortillas and instead of that you can make a burrito. You know, with food, it, nothing has to be like exactly the same. You can play with the food, you can pick it out, you can add it up. So the meat is really well done. And what you can do is just grab one of these little pieces, just put it in, in the pull apart pretty easy. You can put as, as many as you want or as little as you want. So I'm just gonna make these three. What I'm gonna put is my cilantro. Salsa, have some lime. And if you wanna add some avocado. All right guys, so there you have my tacos and the slow cooker, the pork. This is a very simple recipe, so you don't have to babysit and it's really easy and it's very delicious. If you wanna try, that would be wonderful, let me know what you think. And also if you don't wanna eat it with tacos, compare it with beans and rice, then you have a dish. So hasta la vista, and here's my tacos. Let's eat.